Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yes! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> and I am super elated to be scrutinizing another Lindy Hop competition today. And it looks as if we are going to an event called Canal. Canal. All skate. I'm not even sure if I'm saying it right, but from what I can see, it looks like as if this is going to be a strictly advanced finals. This means we're going to get a lot of social dancing and possibly a little bit of choreography. I don't know how serious this event is going to be. I can only tell right now it's only three couples in the thumbnail. So let's get right into it. And I'm going to tell you guys my opinion right after this video. Do not let your hearts be troubled. This is not a place where we ignore the truth. You're going to hear the absolute truth about my opinion. Are you ready for it? Hey. All right. Uh, I've never been to this event before and I do not know who's in it. So let's see what becomes of this competition. Okay, clearly this, this couple understands the technique and some. All right, so first thing I look for is to see the quietness of the leader's body after uh, this leader initiates something to his partner. I'm also looking at the followers to see number one. Very good, like that aerial. I want to see if they don't take big steps. And I also want to see how they're actually embellishing the music. And it looks like both of these two, they've danced probably before. Since this is a Strictly, I can assume maybe they practice a lot. Don't know. <clears throat> so far, that didn't look choreographed. So they were, they were pretty sharp. <laughs> yeah. Ah, nice footwork. <laughs> it's like fake aerial. Love that. So what I like so far about this couple is they are utilizing a lot of humor. And I think it's being suggested by the leader. And the follower is just going along with that. I don't think she's uh, like fighting the motif of humor. And it looks like they're having fun. <clears throat> Yeah, so I like this couple. I loved how the follower is light on her feet. Was just able to play along with the leader's silliness. Ooh, they got an exciting song. Straight into swing outs. Yeah, nice little leg left. I like that. The leg slide. And aerials, yes. I keep forgetting this is a Strictly, so they could both kind of know that's going to happen. If that was a Jack and Jill, I'd be like, this guy's crazy. He's just pulling out anything.
<laughs> They're all having a good time. This is great to see. Yes! <laughs> tricks, tricks. <laughs> there, you want tricks? You want tricks? I'll give you tricks. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, this guy in the middle is hilarious. <laughs> he's he's doing so much. Oh, it's great. This is looking good. This is looking good. Uh, let's see. I think it's just kind of a, an all skate. Let's talk about this one. Now I've got to admit, that was really fun. It, it reminds me of those competitions where it's late in the night. Not a whole lot of people actually want to do the competition. <clears throat> people are having a really good time at the event. And a handful of couples are like, yeah, let's do it. Nobody else is doing it. Let's just get out there and have some fun. I didn't feel at all that any of these dancers were nervous. They may have had me fooled, but from what I saw, it looked as if they were just having a good old time in the backyard with their friends, and the audience was having a good time too. Seems like this would have been maybe a late night where everyone's eating their little late night food and tacos and drinking. Woo! You know, just they're engaged, but not really. So it felt, it felt really light, and that's a good feeling, because sometimes, when you do these competitions, it can become very stressful and strenuous, and a lot of people forget to just have a good time. Get out there with your friend and entertain the audience. Now, I will say, as a judge, even though um, I enjoyed it, it was light and fun, I still had to put on my critical eye because clearly it is a competition, and we can't forget that this isn't just a party in our backyard. So, <clears throat> for me, um, the number one dancer was, or the, the number one couple was the first couple. I could kind of see that they're, they understood a little bit more about the fundamentals on how to move uh, throughout the uh, swing rhythm with a partner. The follower clearly understood how to take energy and move somewhere with it without adding more or taking away. Leader clearly knew how to suggest and give energy to their partner <clears throat> without um, getting in the way visually so the audience could, you know, see the follower do the movement. So they were one. They were one. They were beautiful. What I also liked about their movement is that even though they were doing basic shapes, they were adding more dimensions to the shapes. The leader was clearly turning more in certain areas. He wasn't just doing a rock step, but sometimes he would turn his upper body a little bit more, sometimes he'd stick his foot out a little more to add a little bit more dimension. I also liked how the follower was embellishing the soloist, meaning the musicians. So when I'm watching, I like to see, obviously, the control part, but I also like to see what they're doing with the timing of the music. And it was great because I think the leader and the follower both had something to say and personality 
So they kind of were similar in how they talked, but it was really encouraging to see how the leader exercised a tremendous amount of restraint and talking visually and acquiescing uh, to his partner because she clearly had a lot of stuff to say. And I loved when she was moving and embellishing the trumpet and all of the other instruments that you could hear clearly in the song. And he wasn't a distraction to them <clears throat> or to her. And I like that. I like seeing the give and take of knowing you both can do something and then someone saying, you know, no, go ahead. You do that. We're working on this together and we want to create an overall beautiful picture. And I can see they just had this natural affinity for the process, just enjoying it, adding uh, some dimensions to it. I like that I could see a little bit of their personalities. It didn't seem too derivative of other dancers that are out there. Even though I can kind of see the predictability of where they're going with the technique, that is a very popular way of dancing right now, where you know the leader and the follower move with the same type of elasticity in their body. So there's really no surprises in their movement. It all kind of flows the same way. Uh, I'm not criticizing them for that. I will say that it was kind of conspicuous, which is not a bad thing, but I like to kind of be surprised as a judge. I don't want to see everything coming especially when you have a really tight song that has dynamics that change in the song because that's important <clears throat> so they were my favorites they were my favorites i will have to say i liked the second couple <laughs> it was really funny i like when people add humor in their dancing and they kind of influence their partner in a way where their partner is kind of doing something outside of their comfort zone and they just decide to do it anyway and you can see that happening and it kind of brings the audience into the dance with, and it still allows us to kind of remain safe or we're not doing it but they're bringing us into their world without us having to leave our own i like that too i like that too um it was overall fun guys this is this is a really fun kind of competition it's going to be interesting to see uh, what that first couple's going to end up doing more. I, I, I really hope, it said advanced, <clears throat> but I really hope that these dancers continue to push themselves to kind of start branching and doing more things creatively because they clearly had control of the technique, which is something that not a lot of people can do. It really is something that is sometimes overrated. Um, it's sometimes not made clear where people you know take years to figure it out. And even when they end up figuring it out, they, they don't necessarily know how to explain it to someone else with simplicity to allow that person to go through their learning curve smoothly. And hopefully, with every subsequent generation, they should be able to learn it faster. And that's what we hope, right? So if you are like that, like I was, I encourage you to check out our Fundamentals membership below. It's really fun. Uh, we basically dis demystified swing dancing so that you can basically figure out exactly how to fix yourself when you're social dancing. I think that's the real art. That's the real charm. That's the real benefit of learning a, a simple technique. Because once you get that out of the way, then you're really free to kind of experiment with the tools and not necessarily focus so much on the tools to see if you're accurate. Once you know it, it's, it's the game over. That's when the real fun takes place. So I encourage you to check that out. If you guys want to get a sample of some of the things that we do, we have about 30 courses below. Check out some of our classes and a lot of my original moves that I come up with. Um, we have a home studio right next door and we're creating new stuff and sharing it with our community every Monday and Tuesday and they're loving it. Community's growing and if you want to sample that, you should check out those free courses. It's a lot of fun. What did you guys think about this competition? Do you think the dancers were on the same level? Do you think it was kind of a disparity between the levels? Do you think the first couple was overrated? I liked them. You may not have liked what they were doing. You might have liked somebody else. Let me know in the comments section. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, with that said, if I don't see you in one of my classes online, hopefully I get to see your opinion in one of my reaction videos. Have a great day. Take care.